In this video, I am going to give you 10 tips and tricks to make money with ClickBank. Let's get started. Hello YouTube, it's Austin and welcome to my channel where I help you find success online. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell if you are interested in different tips and tricks on how to find success online. All right, so as I just mentioned, in this video, I'm going to give you 10 tips and tricks for you to make money with ClickBank. ClickBank, if you're not familiar, it is basically a warehouse or a clearinghouse for affiliate products. Um, basically, what you do is you go there, you can sort by marketplace or sort by niche, find a affiliate product that works within your niche, and you can promote that product. The cool thing about ClickBank is you can go there and you can find multiple products, you can promote multiple products, and everything is located in one spot. So let's, without further ado, let's get into tip number one. Uh, tip number one, and this is a tip that everyone shares, sort by gravity. Now, gravity is basically the, the amount of sales or, or the, the most popular selling, highest selling item over a given period of time. Now, where I'm a little bit different is I actually recommend scrolling down past the first five or six. The reason being is that everyone will sort by gravity, as I mentioned, but though they usually won't go past the first three. They'll, they'll try and promote one of the, the popular three, but if you just scroll down to uh, maybe seven, eight, nine, those are still popular or selling products. They're just not getting the love or the support that the top two or three. So I recommend scrolling down a little bit and even going on to the second page and looking at those products because they're probably still very good products. They just aren't, um, they, they aren't the hot ones right now. So tip number one is use gravity, but go to that second page. Tip number two is check for reviews views of the product that you're promoting. Now, the way to do this, there's a few different ways. Go on YouTube and just type in the name of the product. So um, you type in, let's say, uh, affiliate product XYZ review and see what people are saying about it. Most people are going to give a review that's a little bit slanted uh, favorably because they are trying to promote the product, but you just want to get a feel for what people are saying, how they're approaching it. Most people will make the mistake of, of trying to promote the product directly instead of doing what I recommend doing further further down in my tips and tricks, but you want to get an idea of the both the good and the bad so that you can accurately talk about its strengths and weaknesses. If you're honest, if you're you're transparent about the strengths and weaknesses of the product, people will know, like, and trust you, and they'll feel comfortable buying from you again and again. So that is tip number two, use Google or YouTube to search for product reviews. Tip number three, and not a lot of people will, will tell you this, but try and contact the seller directly. Most likely the seller will have their email address or some way to contact them, maybe their Skype. Ask them for a demo or even access to the back end. See how it really works. The reason why you wanna do this is so that you actually have intimate knowledge of the product that you're promoting. People that have knowledge of what they're promoting will feel more comfortable on camera, they'll feel uh, more comfortable maybe writing the blog post, and they can give honest reviews. They can talk about, again, the strengths, the weaknesses, how, they, how the customer can really uh, benefit from the product that they're talking about. All too often, you'll see a review of a product, it's very surface level. They'll say, oh, this is a great product if you uh, have this ailment, but they don't talk about the immediate strengths and weaknesses of the product that they're promoting because they're more concerned about the amount of money that they could potentially make and not necessarily how it can help the customer. So ask for or can't reach out to the seller and see what information that they can provide. Sometimes they'll give you a demo. Sometimes they'll even give you access to the back end, but make sure you ask for that. Next, look for products that have email swipes and landing pages. The reason why you wanna look for these types of products is because that means the seller has put more uh, time, energy, effort, and money into the product. They're not just looking for for a quick sell uh, to make a bunch of money and to get out of it. And when, when someone spends the time to create email swipes and landing pages, that means they are in it for the long haul. This is an investment. And if you're not familiar, an email swipe is basically like an email template that you can send out to your mailing list uh, and in order to generate interest and, and to get that person to buy the product that you're promoting. But check out those, those email swipes and the landing pages. Uh, a bonus tip is actually don't use those, but check them out, make sure that, um, that, that they have spent time doing the, the creating the email swipes. Uh, so continuing on, don't use the email swipes. You want to use some verbiage from it, but don't necessarily use them all directly. Don't necessarily copy and paste because other people are going to be a little bit lazy and just do that. Spend a couple extra minutes, adapt, uh, make it your own, make it sound like it's coming from you and not like from a seller that's looking to make money. But Use those email swipes and landing pages to help you make money. It should make it should make your process a little bit faster, a little bit easier, but don't use them directly. Next, create content about a problem 
and not about the solution. So what that means is you want to answer the question, how to lose 10 pounds in your feet fast. You don't want to create a solution about the product or you don't want to create content around the product that you're promoting because what if that product goes away? Then you've got to jump back on that hamster wheel and you've got to create product solution. You've got to create content all over again. Easy for me to say. You want to create content around solving a problem. So again, if someone wanted to lose 10 pounds in their feet, you, you create content. Hey, um, these are the top five ways to lose 10 pounds in your feet. But if you're looking to do it a little bit faster, check out this method in the link in the description. So that's something that you would do. And the cool thing about this is let's say that product goes away, that, that, that product that you're promoting goes away. All you need to do is change the affiliate link and you don't have to change anything else. So it's very key. If you're just getting started with affiliate marketing or with ClickBank, do not promote the solution it's cool to do maybe uh, one or two reviews of the actual solution which is the the product that you're promoting to, but don't create all of your content or don't put all of your eggs in one basket which is the solution basket you want to put your eggs in solving the problem so that that was the next one so the next one i have on my list is uh, as a new affiliate marketer to clickbank make sure that you understand that the average sale price that you'll see on the right hand side in red is including upsells that night might not necessarily be the amount that you get paid on every sale or, or every commission that includes any potential upsells so go in and, and there's actually a little um, a much smaller number at the bottom that will tell you the amount that you'll make on the initial sale go by that and and base that um use that number as for as far as calculations with potential money that you can make uh, one of the things that i think i got confused or frustrated about initially is when i saw that number the uh the average sale price I, I didn't make the connection that 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 included upsells so make sure that you know that going in and look at that initial sale price at the bottom it's a real small number you might have to put on your glasses in order to see it but that's the number that you want to account on the next one that i don't like don't see a lot of people recommending is use multiple hop links for the same product now the reason why you want to do this is so that you know what's successful and what's not successful uh, with regard to your marketing for example if you're going to promote this product on facebook and twitter and instagram and on youtube you should create four separate hop links with different um, tags so you might want to do a facebook hop link tag so that you know that once one clicks that link they came from facebook or twitter or youtube so that that can tell you what you should put more time energy and effort in if you are an affiliate marketer you are probably using multiple channels like i do and so you want to make sure that you are tracking your progress because analytics analytics is the most important. So make sure that you do that going forward. Next is create a congruent landing page. Now, if you are an affiliate marketer, you should also be an email marketer. And instead of pe sending people directly to your ClickBank offer, you are sending or should be sending them to a landing page. Now you want to make that landing page congruent with the affiliate offer or the or the affiliate sales page. The reason why you wanna do that is so that the customer sees that as the expectation is the next logical step and not like they're being shifted from two different websites. Most likely someone's not going to spend the time and look at the URL. They're just going to click the link. They're gonna say, okay, I need to enter in my email address in order to get, get to the next page. They'll enter in their email address and then they get sent to the sales page. Now, if your landing page and your sales page are two different colors, two different formats, two different themes, people are going to say what is going on here they may get turned off and they may not purchase the content it's good that you collected the email address but you also want to make it look um, look efficient look seamless look congruent so that is key uh, and the final tip here today is you have to give away to get something uh, as you'll see or uh, as you gain more experience with affiliate marketing most people love free stuff. And in order to get them to take the action that you want them to take, you have to give away something for free. For example, if you are promoting a product that will help you lose 10 pounds, uh, tell them to click the link in the description to get 101 yoga exercises that will help you lose 20 pounds in 20 days. People will click that link because they want to lose 20 pounds in 20 days. That'll take them to your landing page. The landing page should say, enter, enter in your email address, to learn how to lose 20 pounds in 20 days. They enter that information, that then takes them to that next page, which will be the sales page. So if you wanna know everything that I know about affiliate marketing, click that first link in the description. That link will also give you a free guide to email marketing. Now, if you know anything about me, you know anything about this channel, I am a huge proponent of email marketing. Um, email marketing will help scale your business, it'll help you grow your business beyond your wildest dreams. So make sure that you get started with email marketing right away. Click that first link to learn everything that I know about affiliate marketing, and I'll see you in the next video.